Hello and welcome to Glitchy Toads. Today I will be doing this light wrap tutorial. And this can be used when you're trying some compositing that is done in MADs or if you want to make your thumbnail have this lighting that is usually looks like how to explain this there is a light behind you and this this outline around the person or in the direction where the light is wait well, do you actually see it when i'm doing it i don't think words explain this clearly anyway so let's just get into it okay guess you hear some little birds in the background this is because there's some nice sparrows that decided to settle outside my room so once in a while they'll be chopping if not they're probably out to get some meal what we have here is the background and we have the character these are two different layers for this background we're trying to make it not pop because we want the main focus to be the character who is gojo here so the blur that i'll be using is the bokeh you can actually use any other one you can use gojian you can use s this blur right <laughs> i hope there's some bcc it is bcc then at bokeh let's just change the blur radius to 10 but it's not too much mm, should i lift it full or let me just change it to quarter just for the sake of it don't want any liking then at character let's just add drop shadow and set it to shadow only any other adjustments will be done when you've reached the third step now let's do set match then cc composite here we're going to come to composite original and change this to behind come on okay and uh, make sure you uh, you disable this sorry and you will see him then now this is the point where you actually come and change this setting this is what i was trying to tell you about you can see if i increase the distance you have this outline and this shows like maybe i want to say my lighting is coming from this point so if you see this glow brightness at the edge of the skin at the edge of the character at this particular point but if my lighting was coming from this side i'll come and change this direction and you see it actually glows from this side for me i want to use I just reduce this i want to make it look like the lighting is from here now that that's done that's actually like one of the major stuff then let's go and add yy ram if you don't have this one i'm going to be putting a download whatever download file <laughs> and it's going to be the server so make sure you join the server it will be at the plugin the plugin section forgive my heavy accent okay so come to input points and enable this and just put it somewhere there and make sure you come to blend mode and change this to linear dodge add and then the interpolation to smooth just adjust ah oh, come on adjust this and uh, play around with it until you make it look nice yeah i like it somewhere here after we're done after we're done with that let's add um, adjustment layer and go to loops and edit it i'm going to be adding a couple of effects here not a couple but quite a few and the first one is a diffusion let's disable that now the lens some edge edge softness right and the pools there's blue hsl and some colorista we color and this let's go And softness let's reduce that a bit and then increase it so it fits well then come to colorista and just play with this my shadows to be dark and my mid tones to be in the orange then don't bump up the highlights too much which is color i really like it when the red is all the way up and back to four a color not so different from what we just did with the colorista mm, maybe this maybe to the orange again yeah. 
it's a different but ever so slight come to curl see what we can do okay something like that now enable our diffusion and reduce it uh, something like that will work at two okay then let's just add some curves let's make some minor changes something like that and I also like adding color restores again this step is actually not that important it's just personal preference but if you see like it's not much it does you don't need to include it so let's just remove it to prevent bringing up any confusion now we're going to add an optical flare so let's just add solid and go to optical flares Set the render mode to on transparent and go to options and here we have several lights so you can choose any that you actually prefer there's one that i really like uh, this one or something then go here and set it as screen then the purpose of this light is to like emphasize where the light is coming from right and it also gives this camera like effect you know how light reacts when you put it on like when the camera lets something of that sort as long as you actually see its purpose okay so there's also another thing that you can do to add to the glow that usually shines in the background so let's say we have the character that we already did like we have everything and let's just duplicate that character let's disable these two for now then come to the drop shadow and change this all the way to 100 so that we just have that glow alone then you go to deep glow and just clip this and we have that just adjust this a bit okay so that actually works but if you don't have deep glue another thing we can do is use the normal glue and let's just increase this right this uh, radius sorry and then we go for unmalt but with unmalt it's you, you mean you need to have this uni one it does the same thing as just adding deep glue but yeah that's just an alternative but i'll just go with deep glue and let's just enable the rest that should be the final look let me show you how it looks like with the outline that we have right now and without that is without the outline this is with the outline that brings us to the end of the tutorial if you like what i did don't forget to like and subscribe and also let's join the discord server i'm really waiting to see you there that being said i will see you guys in the next video